Hi there today. Uh, this is Monica from Monica's Handmade Compendium. Today I like to talk to you about storage. Storing of embellishments made from this acrylic filler. There are previous videos on this. There's a playlist on it, how to use it with your silicon moulds. Let's get to it. All right. Now, this is an acrylic gap filler that you use at home to fill in gaps or seal between a wall and a bench, something like that. And this is specifically acrylic. They can be used in these silicon moulds. So acrylic and silicon, they go together, they will work, they will come out, no problem. Now, this is a small tube of 250 grams, it's colour white. You can paint it, you can glue it down, you can cut it, you can mould it around, curves, etc. This is a mini one, and... Um, it works with any silicon moulds. These are Finnebar moulds, Stars and Moons and Mechanica. And I've got already some made embellishments from it. Which you can check out previous videos. See, these are some of the gears from the Mechanica one. From this one here. Right? I did these ages ago. I keep making them and making them and storing them and that way I have lots I can play with in my mixed media projects. All ready to go. See the stars. Got the little cogs from this one. And I also have other um, acrylic embellishments from other moulds like buttons, gears, butterflies, etc. flowers. Silicon moulds you can get anywhere. Um, from your favourite online shop, from your brick and mortar shop, wherever you can get your hands on it. Cheap ones, expensive ones, good quality ones, they all work with this acrylic gap filler. So, about storage. So, once you've applied it and taken them out, you can put them straight into a box. I just get these containers. It can be found in a supermarket, cheap shop like Reject Shop, Kmart, anywhere. These are like kitchen storage. For, can be for food, whatever, you know or for craft, anything. These are Sistema storage. This is 1.7 litre and it's got a section at the top. It's, it's a good plastic, you know. It's got a section at the top and at the bottom. So you can put your smaller embellishment, embellishments pardon me, into each section so you can categorise it or you can put the bigger ones at the bottom as well. That's one type of storage box. Here's another one I found somewhere. I like these clip-on ones. They stay closed and no issue. These ones have four sections and you can take out each section individually. And you can put like butterflies in this one, buttons in this one, gears in this one, other things in that one have it all separated and categorized to your liking. Now recently uh, I bought this one same sort of thing but a little bit taller so I've got more space at the bottom for larger ones and again this is Sistema and it's got sections at the top so 
so I sort of tend to lean towards these boxes. Not too big, not too small, but you can stack them, you know, stack them on the shelf, have your embellishments ready, and it's see-through. So you can see what's inside them. You can label it if you wish. You can keep, you know, like if you have one uh, mould with certain shapes that go together, you can put it into one section. Or if you have thinner bare um, few moulds, you can keep it in one box and you know it will come from these. Um, You can store them in Ziploc bags if you wish. These come in all sorts of sizes. You know, keep a grouping um, like gears in one bag. Label it and zip it up. And you can even put that into a plastic container and keep them together. Um, that's my favourite sorry <laughs> my favorite way of storing these quick and simple stackable if you have any other suggestions or store your embellishments in other ways let me know in the comments I am welcome to other suggestions and let others know how they can store theirs by the way this was a question by a lady that made a comment she wondered how to store them and another question she mentioned was are they sticky do they stick together once they are dried I'll address that in a minute uh, how else can you store them you can if you have a yes I'll show you one moment okay I just grab these you can store them in these little things they're clickable storage um, let me just make some room the clickable storage containers or should I say stackable <laughs> they stack up I've seen these in um, like reject shop craft shop like spotlight or any crafty shop that have craft things or storage anything like that they twist and lock together I've been putting smaller acrylic embellishments into these they just untwist and you can put them in there for the smaller ones now I've got these tiny ones because in some holes there are some really small embellishments like these little gears and they sort of they get lost you know amongst all these big ones so haven't had a chance yet to transfer them into these smaller stackable they're also plastic so I'll have to do that at one stage but that's another way of keeping them if you have just a few you know they sit nicely on your desk easy accessible okay now the question was do they stick together once it's all dry well yes and no some do and some don't I don't know why but sometimes you well look at that yeah, a whole chunk comes out like this but it's not gl glued you can easily separate them yeah just pull them apart I have ones that are really stuck they're sort of like glued on top of each other but if you pull them apart slowly you'll be okay but even if they tear take it as it is you know it's a grungy look this acrylic gap filler 
it has air pockets so it leaves you with these indentation recesses I like that sort of look you know it's not perfect yeah so even if you do pull it apart and it rips it for me it's okay I don't mind so that's why I store them like this on top of each other I don't mind so they're easy to pull apart that's no problem now if that bugs you really bugs you and you don't want that even these ones when I want to use them look, comes out in a clump okay nothing wrong with it you can still pull them apart yeah see no worry at all but if it bugs you you can find small um, plastic pockets you can put them like if you have larger ones you can put them in a ziploc bag individually that will keep them separated or I was even thinking um, see most of them are loose See, big clump. So right. they're not glued together. It's just they don't feel sticky. They're not sticky. They're dry. See, that one took a bit of an effort. But with the bigger ones, if you like them, you can just put them in a Ziploc bag, just to keep it separate. You can label it put a name on it where it came from keep them individual like that if you have big pieces and you only have a small amount but because I do these a lot I just keep them like this in a box and it doesn't worry me if they stick or I was thinking if you have glad wrap right? cling wrap glad wrap the plastic you know you can wrap them in that. You can cut off a chunk. Alright. And just wrap them. Um, can you see? I'll just put one like that. Wrap it around and then you can maybe put another one on top there. Yeah, another one there, and it will keep them separate, you know. Put another small one there, wrap it up, and that should keep them separate. Put it in a box, label it, but you know what I mean? It's up to you how you. Oh, that one went walkies. See, comes out no problem. See, doesn't stick. Unwrap it, use it. There's also um, aluminium foil, the same way. Put one, wrap, put one, wrap, and the aluminium foil should keep them separate as well. Um, again, if anyone else has any suggestions, please put them in comments, love to know, inform others, it will be fantastic. I hope this helps. Um, if you like my explanation and show, please do hit the like button, that will be much appreciated. Um, and if you want to know more about this acrylic gap filler and how to use them you can subscribe to my channel monica's handmade compendium and uh, hit that bell notification and it will notify you when my new videos come out make sure in the bell notification you select the first one so you get all 
notifications. That will be fabulous. So I do hope that this helps. You can use any plastic container, like I said, you know, any. But I like these separators. Keep the small ones on top, build up the big ones on the bottom. So thank you, and I'll see you later.